Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to read a file from the internet in R. So uh, let's say there's a file on the internet that you would like to be able to import into R so that you can perform some kind of data analysis on it. Now for this series of videos, um, I have set up a repository on GitHub for all of the R code and for the data files that we're going to use. So I'm going to scroll down here and we're on video number 24 and the file that I'm going to use here is 24 underscore data underscore file dot CSV and I would like to be able to read that file directly from this GitHub resource. So when I click on this file we can see that it is a very straightforward file. It's just got uh, two columns with uh, 12 values in each column. We have the price of oil in, uh, in dollars per barrel over a 12 month period in 2018. And also we have the price uh, of an ounce of gold over the same 12 month period. So I'd like to be able to uh, read this file directly from the internet into my R environment. So let's go ahead and do that. So the uh, web address, uh, I provided it here, uh, gives us the full path to the file name 24 underscore data underscore file dot CSV. Uh, this uh, web address, if you want to try this for yourself, is available to you in the comments section just beneath this video. So I want to be able to read that file and its path into R and then perform some uh, basic analysis on this file. So this uh, uh, data file is all about the price of oil and um, gold. So I'm going to create a new vector and call it price data. So simple vector and assign it um, the contents of this file. So to do that, I'm going to need the function read.csv. It is a CSV file. Open and close brackets and insert the, a pair of inverted commas. Now I've copied the web address, as I say, to the clipboard. So I'm now going to right click and paste the web address so you can see the full file name, uh, the uh, all the path and the file name .csv here at the end listed. So I'm now going to uh, run that piece of code and it seems to have worked. We haven't got any error messages. And if I go over to the global environment on the right hand side, we can see that price data with 12 observations of two variables has been added to the global environment. If I expand out the price data, we can see the price of the uh, oil and gold in integers listed in our global environment. So we know there that we have read in the data uh, successfully. Uh, just a couple of checks that we can do to ensure that we have read the file correctly. So let's look at the first six lines. So head price data. So always useful to uh, check the top of the file. So the first six lines and we can see that they have been read in successfully. Uh, equally, I could look at the tail of the data price data, run that, and we get the last 12 lines, or the last six lines of 12 displayed. Uh, we can print out the whole data set should we choose to do it. So it's a very small data set, so we'll be able to see all the lines. So run line 11 there, and we can see in the console are all our values for gold and oil displayed in the console. Um, and also, so that's something that's very useful to do, particularly if you're reading very large files with multiple variables, is to check the names of the variables. So pre or ICE data, again, using the names function, uh, run that piece of code, and you'll see in the console the names oil and gold listed there. So much, much more useful when you have um, multiple tens and, and, and hundreds of variables in large data sets. So um, practice this yourself uh, when you have files on the internet. So to get the web address to them and use the read.csv function to read them into a vector, and then you should be able to do some basic data analysis on that file. So that's how you read a file from the internet into R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.